Hello everyone, it has literally been so long since I uploaded a YouTube video. It's been like 350 days or something, so almost a year. So today I'm bringing my YouTube channel back and I'm hoping that I actually stick to this. And I'm filming a video of all the books I read in 2022. But first of all, I'm going to start with a little life update at the start. So if you don't want to hear this, just skip to here. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I don't even know like when I decided to stop doing my YouTube channel. Like it kind of just happened. I'm literally editing this video right after I filmed it. So that's why I'm in the same t-shirt. Um, but I'm just coming in here to say I apologize for the background noise. You will see who is making the noise very soon. But... I didn't realize how loud it was until I watched back the video, so I am very sorry. And it just happened, like, I just stopped posting. I stopped having the energy to edit and stuff like that, so I'd make videos and then they'd just never go anywhere. And then I just completely forgot about my YouTube channel, um, which is so sad because there was a moment in time where I loved it, like, so much, and then I just stopped doing it. So basically, a little life update where I've been throughout 2022 because i didn't post like any videos in 2022 so i turned 18 literally got a bunch of tattoos but i could literally do a tattoo tour one day like that could be a separate video i stopped my crystal business which a lot of my videos were based around that at the end of my youtube channel so I'm not sure if i'll be doing any crystal content anymore but so yeah um instead of my crystal business i'm working well, I started working part-time in a primary school as a teacher's aide, which is like a helper in the classroom that helps the kids that need that extra support and stuff. So I was doing that throughout the year. I picked up more days with that and now I'm working full-time and I'll be doing that this year as well because I absolutely love it. Um, and I also started studying at a uni online. I'm studying the Bachelor, bachelor of Education, so I'll be studying to become a primary school teacher and i'll actually have a placement for that throughout this year as well so very exciting stuff with my career like i absolutely love my job so much if i ever spoke about this i went through beauty school i dropped out of school in year 10 like i didn't know what to do with my life and now like i've actually found something that i love so that's what i'm very excited about but yeah pretty much i was just working throughout last year saving money with my boyfriend and everything because we're still together, we're going up to our four year anniversary next month. But yeah, the next big thing is that my boyfriend and I actually brought a house. So that's where I am right now. Um, that's something that I want to show as well, like a house tour or something. I really wish, because we moved out in November, so I really wish I filmed a moving vlog and now I've like missed that opportunity. But I can still film like house content of like a house tour, all that stuff. So just very exciting stuff like we both wanted to move out like we wanted our own space we wanted to design our own space you know be independent and stuff like that so we moved out in november soon after that we got a puppy i will show her right now she's a golden retriever so let me just get her okay this is nelly so <laughs> she is 16 weeks on saturday so she's almost four months old um, she is very cheeky, like you can see she's just biting me, she's just going through her biting stage, which is really frustrating, but we love her. Like, honestly, we both say that buying her was the best decision we've made in our house. Put some pictures to show how small she was when we first got her, and like, pictures where she's not biting me, because she's not going to sit still, but this is, <laughs> this is her. So yeah, we've started our little family with a puppy. Um, we've got our own space, we're both doing a job that we love, like, it's just happy times all around. So yeah, that was like my little life update section of the video. I really want to make more videos based around, you know, what it was like moving out, having a puppy as well on top of that. Like, just everything like that. So just let me know what you want to see from me, because I'm really unsure of where to start from here, because it's been so long. But that's why I'm just starting with the books I read in 2022 for this video. So I'm going to get my good reads up on here and then go through the books that I read throughout the year. So the first book I read or I started reading at the end of 2021, but I finished it in 2022, was Credence by Penelope Douglas. Now, I remember reading this book. I was camping and I was reading it on my Kindle. So I don't have the physical copy. Literally the worst book I've ever read. Like... Like, it didn't follow any storyline, really. Like, the whole thing was just 
smart. Like, don't get me wrong, like, that is good sometimes, like, when it's, like, you know, spaced out and stuff. But literally the whole book was that. And also it was, like, a... It was literally, like, an uncle and girl or something. So it was, like, really weird. And, like, her cousins. So it was just, like, a really weird book. I don't even know how I finished it. So I rated it two out of five stars. I probably should have rated it one. Like, honestly, I don't even know why I gave it two stars. Like, there was literally no positive about that book. So, yeah, that was a really bad start to the year. <laughs> kind of put me in a slump. And then I read Layla by Colleen Hoover. Also read that on my Kindle. I said here it was probably my least favourite Koho book because it was like really different and like half of the book was just really far-fetched like, like some parts like at the start were really creepy and scary and I was like okay this is like different but it just wasn't good like I rated it three out of five stars I don't know if I said that so it was just really weird like that's the only way I can describe that book like I literally remember the whole storyline as well so yeah Okay, I've got the next few books here that I read, so I can show you, like, the actual physical copy. So, the next book I read was You've Reached Sam by Dustin Thayer. I'm, or Thayer, I don't know how to say that. Um, this was, like, really sad. I remember, like, almost crying, because I don't really cry in books or movies. Like, I've only ever cried in one book, <laughs> so, um, I'm not going to talk about what the books were really about, but it was pretty much, like, a girl's boyfriend died and then like he left a message behind for her just going through the blurb because I can't really remember I just remember it was sad um so yeah I rated that five out of five stars actually that was a good start to the year yeah and then the next book I read was Aristotle Aristotle I don't know how to say that and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe now this is like I literally annotated it like four times that's so embarrassing um this is like really beautifully written like I can't even explain like what really happened but it was from both of their point of views. I know there's a second one but I haven't got to reading that like I didn't even realise it's been a year since I read this. So yeah unfortunately I haven't read the second one but I did rate it 5 out of 5 stars so must have been pretty good in the moment. Then I read Margot Mertz Takes It Down by Carrie McCrossan. So I rated that four out of five stars i remember it was like about a website in their school that was posting like girls inappropriate pictures um and then margot like wanted to take it down and like get revenge on them and stuff like that so it was like a really interesting concept because i feel like it is just something that happens all the time nowadays like people in high school like make accounts like that and everything so I did rate that four out of five stars it was pretty good but maybe a little bit childish for me my phone ran out of space so I had to airdrop them to my mac and then <laughs> now I can start filming again so I don't know what I got up to but I was talking about Daisy Jones and the Six so a lot of you guys won't like me for this but I really did not like this book like the way it's written I just couldn't keep up with the characters and what was happening and I'm just not for like band related like music related books like it's just not my thing so if you haven't read it like it's written like each character has a couple of lines and then it changes characters and it's just so confusing and I just did not like it at all so I think I rated this I rated it three out of five stars so pretty low books at the start of January last year like it was just not setting me up for a good year. Then the next book I read was The Silent Patient. Probably one of my favourite books ever. Like, everyone talks about this book. It is insane. But it's like, pretty much a lady kills her husband and then no one knows, like, why she did it. And then she pretty much went on mute and just didn't speak to anyone. And then a new doctor comes and, like, tries to get her to speak. And everything like that and then like there's a massive twist at the end like it's just crazy like you can't explain the book unless you've read it and I don't want to give any spoilers if you haven't read it like go read it right now but obviously five out of five stars um would have rated it more if I could but obviously five out of five is like top tier and then the next books or series that I read was the mindfuck series so everyone was talking about the Mindfuck series at the start of last year, like everyone was reading it, everyone was raving about it, and I'm going to be one of the other people that rave about it because I think it was insane. Every book had like a plot twist at the end or a cliffhanger and like it just made you keep reading 
and I think I was isolating with my boyfriend because his family had COVID and I just read the whole thing in like two days like it was just so good like I can't even explain it but basically it's about this girl yeah I can't even remember what happened but basically this girl I think she like did something really bad like in terms of the law like murdered someone maybe and then she ends up like falling in love with the policeman that's investigating the case pretty much but then you find out like why she did it and like what actually happened and like there's parts of it that were really sad as well but it's like one of those things you just can't explain or like I can't explain it to you unless you've read it because otherwise I'm just going to spoil it. Okay, so the next book I read was Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I remember this came out and then everyone like read it straight away like and was talking about it. So I'm pretty sure it's like about a girl and she basically lost custody of her child. And then the whole book like you're trying to figure out like why, what actually happened and like she really wants to get custody of her child again. Like it's a really sad book. Um, I rated it 5 out of 5 stars, but looking back, I think it was overrated at the time. It just had a lot more hype than it should have, pretty much. So, I did give it 5 out of 5 stars, but I'd probably give it like 4 or 4.5 now that I look back. And then the next book I read, again, you're gonna hate me for hating this book, The Love Hypothesis. I just don't get the hype. Yeah, it was written in third person, which I can't handle. Like, I hate books written in third person, like, I just can't keep up. And I'd rather be, like, in the actual mind of the main character. So, yeah, she basically, like, got with one of the scientists, like, at her... I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain the book because I just... Nothing stuck to me because I just didn't like it. So, I rated this 3 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was 2204 Hunter Lane. That was, like, a three-month break, by the way. Like, because the love hypothesis put me in the biggest slump. It was like a like upcoming author, like I've literally found her on TikTok and I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. So then I got the book on my Kindle and read it. Can't exactly remember what happened, but reading like the little description, it was pretty much like a girl and she got betrayed by a guy and then I'm pretty sure like her car broke down or something and she walked to like this family's house and they like took her in and like took care of her and everything and I'm pretty sure they had a son. And I'm pretty sure the girl and the son, like, didn't get along. And then, like, the whole story is based around that. But I did rate it 4 out of 5 stars. Okay, so the next book I read was The Fine Print. I have it in a physical copy with the second book. And I literally cannot see it on my shelf. So, okay, I've got them here. But I only read The Fine Print. So, The Fine Print, I literally love this cover. I literally had dreams about this book. Like, and then that's when I decided to read it. Because I was like... I think I just need to read this book. Like, I had multiple dreams about reading it. So I was like, hmm. I don't know what the universe is trying to tell me, but I'll read it. I don't think there was any message in there for me or anything. But I did really like the book. I rated it 5 out of 5 stars. So it was basically picture, like, Disneyland and, like, a girl working there. And then she starts a relationship with her boss, who's, like, the guy that runs Disneyland, pretty much. But it's not called Disneyland. I'm just saying as an example. It was like a boss employee relationship but also like hatred to love like it was just everything like all the best tropes pretty much so i literally loved this book i don't know why i've never gotten on to reading the second one but i definitely need to so yeah five out of five stars then i read november nine by colleen hoover i loved this book so pretty much it was about a girl and i think she was moving away but the night before she moved away, she met this guy and then they met on November 9 and they said every year we'll meet up the same time. And then like a couple of years they kept meeting on that same day and then one of the years like something happened and one of them didn't show up and like you find out what happened and everything. It's very sad, but most of you have probably read this book. So I rated that five out of five stars as well. Then I read Confess by Colleen Hoover and this was kind of like the first book I really annotated if you can see that um and probably the only book i annotated the whole year because i really wanted to get into it and then i just never really did it again this was one of the best books i've read from her i feel like it just had a different vibe than the rest of her books i don't know how to explain it. i can't even really i can't even really remember what happened but um again there was a plot twist in it i'm pretty sure 
So I rated this five out of five stars as well. Then right in time for the series coming out, I read the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. So I'd never read this before. Like it is so hard to get these covers in Australia as well. Like I would have read it so much earlier, but I wanted these covers. Like these are the cute covers in my opinion. And I was not settling for less. So I just waited. Yeah, so I read that trilogy like all in a week absolutely loved it like I feel like the show didn't do the books justice though like everyone was so hyped up about the show and everything like that and I was like hmm I just didn't like it that much to be honest and I'm pretty sure when the show came out I made like a little YouTube video talking about the show and the book but I don't know if I uploaded it and deleted it or like what I did with it but I just remembered that like midway through the year, I randomly decided to do that. I rated the first two five out of five stars. And then the third book, which was Will Always Have Summer, I rated that four out of five stars. Pretty much because the whole like cheating situation and everything, if you know, you know. But I just didn't really like how the story ended up. Like I feel like it just like could have ended at the second book. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I still did really love this series. So yeah. I can't get it out. But then I read Solitaire by Alice Oseman, who's the same author that wrote the Heartstopper series. I gave that four out of five stars. I feel like it was quite childish for me. And it was, again, based around another website that, like, posted people's secrets and stuff. So that aspect was good. But as I said, like, with the Margot Mertz takes it down, it's very, like, childish compared to, like, what I want to read because I'm not in high school anymore and stuff like that. So... Yeah, it was good, but for a younger audience. Okay, the next book I completely forgot about. I think this was my favourite. Actually, there's some really good ones coming up. So, Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I literally it took so long to read this book. Like, as in, I was so delayed to reading this book, but I read it really quickly. Um, also annotated this book, and I'm so glad I did. This book was just beautiful. Like, seriously, it was like a childhood lover's... And then they like grow apart and then they meet again or they like they don't grow apart but they get taken apart pretty much they meet again and then like i don't know i don't i just don't want to spoil anything you have to read the book to really know like how amazing it is but again five out of five stars also if you can hear my phone going off while i'm recording i don't know if you can but i apologize if you can hear it. And then I read Dial A for Aunties because everyone was talking about this as well. D did it live up to the hype? I was literally like laying in bed reading this book, laughing out loud. Like it was literally the funniest book I've read. Like even thinking back, I'm like, it was just so good. And you like, you get to see the culture. I can't remember like what the culture actually is, but like you get to see like how different cultures live and everything as well. So it's like a girl and then her aunties and like they murdered a guy by accident and then like they all try to cover it up and then like the way they try to cover it up is just really dramatic and everything. So it's just like really funny and like lighthearted. So I really loved that. Five out of five stars if I didn't say that already. I really like the cover. Like that is so cute and it reminds me of Pretty Little Liars with the A. And that's an iconic show as well. So I'm going to go through these separately because I had different ratings for all of them. So Twisted Love, I rated four out of five stars just because I think I rated it five. I did annotate this one halfway at least. <laughs> um, I think I rated it five and then changed it when I read the other ones because I realized how much better they were. Um, so I didn't want to give this one five and then couldn't give the other ones higher pretty much. Much like a brother's best friend romance I'm pretty sure I can't really remember this one but all of the it's like a group of four girls that are all friends and then each book is like their love story with a different person so this one was boyfriend's I'm sorry brother's friend and then the second one twisted games my absolute favorite five out of five stars wish I could rate it more this was like a princess and her bodyguard and the vibes of this book just like hit different. Like seriously, I loved Bridget so much. Like her personality was just everything. This book like made the series for me. Like that's like all I can really say. And all of them had like smut as well, if you did want to know about that. But yeah, this one was the best. And then we have Twisted Hate. This one was with Jules. Oh yeah, okay. This was with one of the friends, I'm pretty sure she started dating 
the first girl's brother or something like that like it's just really confusing but they all link together like the last like page of each book like links to the next book pretty much but they can also be read as standalones if you were gonna read one i'd recommend twisted games but this was also five out of five and then twisted lies came out which was the newest one that everyone was talking about i can't even remember this one like i did rate it five out of five yeah i don't really want to spoil anything but they are amazing books so if you haven't read them read them next book i read was too late by colleen hoover um, there's a lot of trigger warnings in this book like um of abuse so the girl was in like an abusive relationship with this guy and she was trying to like just stay with him because she needed like the money because she would have had nothing without him pretty much and then this other guy comes into the picture and like tries to save her because he like can see what's happening when he goes there so yeah the whole thing's about pretty much trying to get her out of this relationship so there is a lot of triggers so if you're gonna read this book please look up the trigger warnings um but i rated it five out of five stars like again probably one of my favorite colin hoover books then i started reading the shatter me series okay so i don't have shatter me with me because my sister was borrowing it and then didn't give it back but that's fine um she hasn't even read it but yeah i read shatter me rated it five out of five stars the whole like series is basically about this girl that can't touch anyone because like it basically kills them so the whole thing like is based around that and then she meets someone who she can touch and they don't know how um but i'm not going to go anything on from that i'm just going to tell you the ratings for each book so shatter me five out of five it's got novellas in between so i rated destroy me four out of five then i rated unravel me five out of five fracture me which was again in here five out of five and then ignite me five out of five so i don't know why i should have just said i rated them all five out of five amazing series i need to keep reading it as well because it was actually so good and then i'm pretty sure i was finishing it around when we moved out so like we moved and then i didn't have time to keep reading other books because i just forgot okay so the second last book i read in 2022 was every summer after by carly fortune fortune this book was also really good it kind of reminded me of another book but i can't remember what it was now so it was pretty much like childhood lovers again and then the girl moves away and then um something happens to bring her back into the town and then she meets the guy again and obviously they like realize that they're both still in love with each other we all knew that was going to happen that's what happens in these books all the time but it was really good so i rated this five out of five stars as i said and then the last book i read for 2022 which was just so different for me i'm glad my mum died by jeanette mccurdy this book was so heartbreaking but like the way she wrote it was just amazing so pretty much it's about her mum again lots of trigger warnings um her mum how she forced her into an eating disorder forced her into acting like all of this stuff and her mental health was struggling really bad and everything like that so it just goes over like what she was thinking in that moment and you also feel like you're in the mind of her even when she was a child so the way she wrote it was just amazing like that's what i mean like so five out of five stars wish i could rate it more so that is all the books i read for 2022 so thank you for watching <laughs> um let me know what videos you want to see from as i said i don't know what i'm going to be uploading yet but i do really want to start getting back into my youtube channel i'm literally going to edit this right now so i can upload it today just because i'm like really excited about doing this because i thought about it two days ago and i was like i'm going to record a video because i just want to get back into it so bad i'm not expecting this to like get a huge amount of views and everything obviously i have been so absent but if you are seeing this please let me know what you do want me to upload and yeah i will see you in my next video whatever that may be say bye bye oh, she's just gonna bite me the whole time